Hey guys, it's time for virtual class number 12. We've got a lot of fun things planned today. We're gonna start off with a bear crawl challenge. All you're gonna need for this is a timer of some kind because what you're gonna be doing is seeing how fast you can go uh, a certain distance for your bear crawl. You're gonna make three attempts and the goal is to get faster each time. So grab a timer of some kind, doesn't really matter what, just something you can keep track of time on. Our skill today is thrusters. So we're putting together the front squat and the push press that we did last week uh, into what's called a thruster. It's basically a front squat directly into a push press. So you're gonna need your broom handle or your mop or whatever it is that you used for our push presses and front squats last week. So uh, after the, we do the introduction, pause the video and go get what you need for that. Our workout today is 21, 15, nine thrusters and burpees. So 21 thrusters, 21 burpees, 15 thrusters, 15 burpees, nine thrusters, nine burpees. Pace yourselves on this one, guys, especially in that first round. It seems really easy and you feel like you can fly through that round of 21, but trust me, if you go too fast on that round of 15, you're gonna be uncomfortable. Uncomfortable's okay, almost passing out because you can't breathe, that's not so good. So pace yourself on that round of 21. We'll do a little yoga dice for our cool down today. Uh, if you remember from Monday and Tuesday, our weekly challenge is the broad jump. So hopefully you're working on those and getting some really great results from practicing those. And our gym challenge this week is 2015-10, burpees, air squats, sit-ups, and push-ups. So to complete this one, you do 20 of each of these movements then you do 15 of each of these movements, then you do 10 of each of these movements. Uh, and if you'd like to share your time with us, just go to the Facebook Mountain Strength CrossFit Kid, uh, Kids Community page and have your parents put your time in there and we will see how you stack up against the grownups. All right, pause the video, go get what you need for our workout today and we'll see you in a minute. Our warm up today is a bear crawl challenge. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna have three tries to see if we can keep getting faster and faster bear crawling over the same distance. So what I want you to do is find a particular location where you can bear crawl safely in a straight line. Uh, make sure that it's not someplace that you're gonna trip over your parents or your parents are gonna trip over you, um, but find a place that you can sort of measure out and say, I'm doing this distance. You've got three tries. You're gonna start a timer when you uh, take off to do the bear crawl. You're gonna go up and back and see how fast you can do it. Three tries, you wanna get faster and faster each time. So I'm gonna show you what the bear crawl looks like. We're gonna start off on our hands and knees. We're gonna lift our knees off the floor. We're gonna to try to keep that nice straight back. Keep the knees low to the floor. That's our bear crawl. So let's pause the video and you can go and do three tries. You're trying to get faster each time over the same distance. All right, have fun. All right, guys, last Thursday we worked on two skills, the front squat and the push press. Today we're gonna put them together into something called the thruster. The thruster is basically a front squat that goes directly into a push press. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our mop or our broom handle or whatever we happen to have on hand. We're gonna get those elbows in that nice forward position, pretending that we're trying to shoot something on the opposite wall with our elbow, laser arm elbows. We're gonna just do five front squats. So bounce up and down, get into that nice athletic stance, turn your feet out a little bit if you need to and squat five times. One, two, three, four, five. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a five push presses. So it starts with dip, drive, dip, drive, dip, drive, dip, drive. Don't forget to move your head out of the way as that bar is coming past. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together. So we start with the front squat into the push press. Front squat, push press. That's three, four, five. All right, I want you, to, you guys to practice that 
five sets of five, just to get comfortable with the movement. All right, let's pause the video and go to it. Okay, guys, our workout today is 21, 15, nine thrusters and burpees. That means you do 21 thrusters, followed by 21 burpees, 15 thrusters, followed by 15 burpees, nine thrusters, followed by nine burpees. So I'm just gonna show you what the round of nine looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Put your bar down right into those burpees. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. All right, guys, pause the video and go to it. All right, guys, now that our heart rates are through the roof after that workout, Let's try to relax a little bit with some yoga. We're gonna do yoga dice. And our first pose is gonna be warrior one. So we're gonna stand with our right foot in front, left foot in back, right knees above right ankle, arms go overhead. We're just gonna let that back leg stretch out, hang out for about five more seconds. And then we're gonna switch sides. Left foot comes forward, right foot goes back. We're gonna be in each pose for about 20 seconds total. In a regular yoga class, you'd be going for longer in each pose. And if you wanna do that afterwards, feel free, have fun with it. All right, time for our next roll. So what do we have now? We have child's pose. So we're gonna get down, toes pointed behind us. We're gonna sit on our behinds on the top of our feet. We're simply gonna put our hands in front of us, head to the ground, and just relax here for about 20 seconds. Make sure you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. Nice, slow, deep breaths will really help get our heart rates back to where they usually are. One more. All right, time to see what our last pose is today. Ooh, I like this one, resting pose. So we lie on our backs, hands beside our sides. This is about the perfect pose for getting your heart rate back down to normal. Just lie on your back, close your eyes, breathe in, breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Nice deep breaths. You should feel your whole body relax. Your heart rate start to slow down. And you should feel nice and calm and a little tired after that workout. All right, great work today, guys. Don't forget about the challenges. We'll see you next week.